these are the other uh, type of uh, system we have nitrogen uh, oxide emission reduction technology we have we have uh, NOx storage catalyst basically uh, the, this catalyst will convert uh, NOx to nitrogen it can be used before DPF as well but normally we are going with the second system called uh, ACR system where we have DOC DPF or CDPF is nothing but a quarter DPF where you can get the temperature up to regeneration up to uh, 600 degrees Celsius and you have the ACR. So this is how the, the substrate looks basically. The substrate is having the wash port, it is having the, the metallic substrate and it is also having the catalyst. So we have seen uh, three type of catalyst. Uh, the catalyst are present over the, the black region and in the yellow region you have the metallic substrate which uh, will range between the thickness of 40 to 50 micron and uh, here is the region which is highlighted in uh, light blue and uh, here the thickness range between 20 to 30 micron this is the structure basically it looks uh, for a substrate uh, and we come back to the third system called uh, ACR, which is nothing but Celtic Catalytic Reaction System. Um, so here uh, we use uh, the AdBlue tank or uh, the urea tank to inject. And uh, here we need to have the, the separate system uh, for the separate mixer system uh, for the uniform distribution of urea into the catalyst. So here we also use uh, the catalyst like uh, metallic geolites and vanadium oxide. We are going to use that catalyst in, in the wash port. This, this is the wash port. We are going to use uh, V2O5 and uh, and uh, and metallic geolite. We are going to use in this wash port area. We are not going to use this uh, this uh, catalyst. Okay? So the catalyst requirement will vary from system to system. Uh, uh, but the substrate uh, structure looks. Uh, uh, quite uh, common but the catalyst will vary so here the temperature uh, is much more better uh, when you want to go for a higher NOx temperature higher NOx conversion uh, when the temperature is between 220 to 450 degrees Celsius you get higher NOx conversion and uh, the, the efficiency of this ACR is between 95 to 98 percentage and you get uh, the reaction called oxidation reduction reaction so when there is oxidation reaction no gets converted to no2 and in the case of reduction you get no2 is further reduced to nitrogen and water along when it is reacting with nh3 you get you hear the thermolysis and hydrolysis chemical reaction will take place so these are the different components involved in the scr so you have uh, the tank, urea tank basically, uh, and you have the motor, and uh, you have the injector, dosing injector, it will inject ammonia, and this is completely electronically controlled one. You have different uh, subcomponents of the CR, it involves uh, the output tank, and you have the sensors, you have the hoses, you have, you have, sen you have uh, dosing module, you have the clamp, you have the supply line, uh, which supplies the, the urea to the injector. You have the, the ACR catalyst, as I told you, you have the vanadium oxide and metallic geolite. Okay, so the system looks complicated, ACR, basically. So the alternative to ACR is a Linux trap. Okay. So Linux trap, by, but the problem is the efficiency is only between 50 to 70 percentage. But obviously, the cost is also going to get reduced. This will also reduce uh, NOx to, this will convert the N2 to, to the NOx to nitrogen and uh, also water. But uh, the amount of uh, NOx coming out is uh, slightly uh, higher than what you're going to use with the help of ACR. And this NOx, uh, this LNT will store the nitrogen after emission when, when the engine is running in uh, lean mode, when the engine is running in rich mode. Uh, it, re it regenerates uh, the nitrogen oxide emission. Here, the operating temperature is between 150 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. So, here also we are going to use uh, the, the coating uh, catalyst basically. 
uh, it, it, it is used in the form of uh, the substrate, basically platinum, rhodium, and uh, barium carbonate use. Uh, you need to have the special coating in the case of a substrate. So when the engine is running in lean mode, uh, you, your NOx gets stored, and when the engine is running in rich mode, your NOx gets regenerated. So again, uh, here uh, you use platinum uh, and rhodium at least, and here also you use uh, the, the barium carbonate. So here, here when the engine is running in lean mode, you get uh, uh, NO2. Again, your oxidation takes place, you know, gets reacted in oxygen, and you get NO2. And this NO2, again, when it is reacting with uh, the barium carbonate, barium nitrate. So, when the engine is running in rich mode, you get uh, nitrogen and CO2. But the amount of uh, nitrogen oxide emission which is coming out of this LNP, the efficiency is only between uh, 50 to 20 percentage. This is how the LNT looks basically. Uh, you have uh, the, the catalyst inside uh, uh, the substrate. So you have uh, platinum, uh, rhodium, barium carbonate as, as the catalyst. And uh, this system is very close to packed and uh, this is good for a good design. And this is also good for a low exhaust back pressure. And uh, the, the system is a less complex city than the ACR. And you have the sensors like this is the air fuel sensor where it will measure the, uh, the temperature of the air and fuel mixture. And uh, whatever the temperature, whatever the NOx which are going to get out of uh, the LNT, you can measure using the, the downstream and upstream, uh, upstream uh, nitrogen storage catalyst sensor. 